you have been given two angles 30 degrees and 90 degrees you can always find the third one the third one is simply 180 minus the sum of the two so this has to be 180 minus 90 which is 90 minus 30 60 once you figured out this angle at the center O you could find the third angle here to find out this angle you have been given the other two angles 90 is here and 90 plus 60 is 150 so the remaining third angle has to be just 30 because all the angles lying at a point on a straight line adds up to 180. Why did I find this angle? Because I see that this angle is made by the arc subtended by the arc CD. Yeah. So when you know the angle subtended at the center, the angle subtended by the same arc somewhere else on the circle is simply half of that. So if that angle is 30, then Y here has to be simply half of 30, which is 15. When I found out the angle Y, now my target is to find angle X. So in this triangle ABE, in this triangle ABE, you clearly see that the angle E here is 90 because it's on a straight line and on a straight line one of them is 90 then other has to be 90. And now you see you have almost all the angles to find X except for this. Now if you look at this angle, this angle is subtended by the arc AD. The same arc AD is subtending the angle at the center which is 90. So if at the center it's 90 then on the circle it has to be always half of that so which gives me 45 degrees. Okay, once I found out it is 45, the total angle at B has to be 45 plus 15. So the total here is simply the sum of 2, which is 60. And hence, to find the third angle, I would simply subtract the two angles that I have. So 60 plus 90 is 150. Removed from 180 gives me 30. This is how I would find the angles missing here.